who are going back to school. So how can we prepare our kids for a good back to school experience? Joining us now is Jada Collins, coach communicator and author with Total Life Counseling. Thank you so much for Thanks coming for in. Me, and so I do want to talk about two things. So the first one, more generally, all mm -hmm. of their students trying to get back into the groove and it's difficult, especially if it's their very first day of school. Yes. How do you prepare as a parent? Well, there's a few things that parents definitely need to know. Any transition is going to be difficult, whether it's from summer to fall going into the new school year or if it's transitioning schools. But first of all, it usually takes a child about six to eight weeks to make that transition. There's going to be some emotional roller coasters for sure. A lot of crying. <laughs> yes, a lot of crying, ups and downs. Yeah. So one of the things that I tell my parents is to be patient. It's okay. Let the children settle in and definitely communicate with them. What do you tell them when they're crying in your lap that they don't want to go, they don't want to go, they want to stay home with mommy? What do you mm -hmm. say? Well, you know, transition is a part of life. And one of the things that I think is really important is you say, you know, it's tough right now, but it will get better. Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. Mommy's with you. And if they're teens, to help them understand that, again, transition is a part of life. And this is a great educational tool to teach them for their future. And you're saying that as a parent, it's very important to have stability during mm -hmm. that six to eight week period. Absolutely. Whatever they were doing prior to the transition, it's important to give them a sense of grounding. So to try and keep things as normal as possible, I know it's going to be difficult now because homework is due and they had some time off in the summertime from swimming and having fun. Right. But transitioning, again, make sure that they're doing their homework, making sure that their um, dinner is the same, and keeping a regimen is going to be very important. And we're talking about the same time, so make mm -hmm. sure that they immediately do their homework first, if Correct. that's what you choose, and then mm -hmm. play time, and then a dinner time so that they could get back into the groove so that they could also fall asleep on time. Absolutely. We don't want tired kids going to school, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I, does this piece of advice change when the kids are going from a different school to a new school to start out the school year? So whether or not they just moved into the area and mm -hmm. they're going into a new school mm -hmm. district or the kids, for instance, at Longwood Elementary that mm -hmm. are going to a totally different place with totally different people Absolutely. and friends. Yeah. And you know what? One of the things that I tell parents is that you need to look for some anxiety or maybe even some depression because what's happening here is there's grief and loss. Mm -hmm. They're either leaving new friends, I mean old friends and having to make new friends. They're leaving something that's very familiar to them and now everything is new. So they may experience low levels of anxiety, a little depression. So to, you know, really look out for those things if they are really sad. And that's when you give the extra big hugs. The extra big hugs. And just Lots say, of it's going to be okay. Absolutely. All right, Jada. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. We really appreciate your good advice.